Good morning everyone, it's Monday morning and I genuinely feel like I'm in a different country right now. It is so hot. It's kind of like burning heat where you can kind of feel it burning your skin like you're in Spain or something but it's actually the northeast of England and it's never ever this lovely. So I've come for a really long stroll with the puppies. Obviously I need to watch for heat stroke so I've come to Big Waters where there's a nice big lake for them to keep cool. And I'm quite surprised that there's no one else out so far. I've seen one old lady and that's it. Normally there's quite a few old people out. Maybe people are finding it a bit too hot. I was just looking over what was above my head there. It was a hornet or something. I don't know what it was. <laughs> I've been for my usual blood test. So far I haven't really been told still from my nurse. I haven't actually had a chance to ring her yet because it was the weekend and I know that they're not in on weekends. So I think I'm gonna give her a call when I get home. I think I'm just gonna try and enjoy the sun while it lasts. I do have a blog post to write for tomorrow, but I'm sure that could wait till tonight. I don't have to do it daytime when it's nice and sunny. Hello, it's Tuesday. Eric and I are on our way into town near the quayside. I think we're gonna go and find somewhere to eat and just have a nice little stroll along the quayside while the weather's all lovely. I've spent time this afternoon working on my blog. I'm really happy because today, well a year ago today, I wrote my first blog post. So it's kind of like my blog birthday anniversary type of thing, so that's cool. What? So that's cool, yeah. <laughs> Whatever, no big. I did do a blog post about the things I've achieved over the year. So if you want to read that, I will leave a link in the description. I'm trying to go make up free for a couple of days, which is why I look like this. Um, and I know that the sun's really, really good for your skin um, for when it comes to acne and scarring. So go and make up free, it should hopefully help while it's nice weather. Hi everyone, it's Wednesday. I've come to Tynemouth slash North Shields area to pick up my pot that I made the other week. Was it last week or the week before? I did vlog about it, but if you didn't see, I came to a place called Pots and Pancakes where you basically paint your own pot and it's really cool, it's quite creative. And I came with the In Colourful Company, so I thought I would show you the finished result. It's really quite cool. There's my finished pot. I'm so pleased with how it turned out. It's exactly what I wanted. You can see I made like a little mistake here, but I don't mind too much because it was kind of hand painted and I think that kind of reflects that it is handmade and I just think it's so pretty and I will definitely get some use out of it on my desk. I always feel so happy when it's sunny and hot like this. It just really lifts my mood and makes me feel so much better. It's all that extra vitamin D. No trolley. Ready for agility? Wait there. One in then. Don't rub up against me. The dogs are trying to get dry up against my back. Good morning everyone. It is, what day is it? It's Thursday. <laughs> I'm sat on the mud at the minute so that I could put my camera on the bench. Um, so I'm gonna have a very wet bottom, I think, because the dogs have been in the lake and they've been rolling all around over here and they keep rubbing into me. I don't know if you can hear Daisy down here right now. It's really hot today, so we're not on like a proper walk, so to speak, we're not actually walking around. I've just brought them to the lake to have a bit of a play, get in the water and keep cool. And I'm watching some people do some fishing at the moment. Look at this man. Dead cute. <laughs> Tonight Eric and I are going for a little walk along the coast and we're gonna get some fish and chips. I haven't had a good chippy um, with the whole lot, like the whole shebang. I really want like either a jumbo sausage or some cod with fish, with fish? <laughs> Not with fish, I don't want fish with fish, with chips and some mushy peas and it'll be lush. Hi Charlie, are you enjoying yourself Charlie? Ugh.
here we have the Lone Warrior. Look at us. Gotta go. Gotta go, everyone. We gotta go. Good morning! While I've got my hair dye on, I look a bit mad. I thought I would show you what I've been prepping for, which is happening tomorrow in Newcastle. I've been doing this. I've been getting my t-shirt ready for the Crohn's and Colitis UK Walker event. I've been raising money for it and if you would like to donate, I will leave a link to my Just Given page down below. All the money goes straight to Crohn's and Colitis. And it would mean a lot if you could spare just the odd pound maybe, or however much you would like to donate. Please excuse my messy desk, but this is the map for the event um, tomorrow. It's going to be mainly held in St. James's Park and I'm doing the 10 kilometer walk, which is this orange line. And if you're from Newcastle, you'll know that's quite a distance. If not, then it's quite a distance. <laughs> Last year, I was only well enough to do the blue one, which is the five kilometer. But this year, because my colitis has gone down to mild rather than moderate, I feel more able to do things. And I thought I'd push myself and do the 10 kilometer walk. I can't wait to do it, it's gonna be fun. Hopefully it won't be too hot and I can bring Daisy along, but if it is too warm, she'll just stay at home and it'll just be me and Eric doing it. So this is how purple my hair turned out. I really like it. I like it when it's as vibrant as possible, but not like a light color. I quite like it dark too, so it's just perfect. I've just finished filming a video and I'm about to log into Adobe and start editing and get it up for today. So that's gonna be my afternoon, I'm not really doing much else. I'm quite pleased actually because the sun's gone away, it's gonna be cloudy outside so I'm not missing out on the sunshine so I'm not gonna be feeling bad about sitting in the house. <laughs> uh, get three eggs. 310 I've got a swab loop. Hi everyone, so it's Saturday and oh it's gone dark. Big Under day. the trees. <laughs> We've just got to Lisa's Park which is where the event village is for the Crohn's and Colitis walking event. We are all suited and booted and ready to go. Are you excited? For a 10 kilometer walk. <laughs> so excited. I'm, I'm really glad. Are you nervous for this? Yeah, I've been really weirdly nervous and anxious this morning and I don't know why, like my stomach's been going crazy. And my, I don't know if you can hear my breathing. My breathing was going and my heart was going. It's so weird, I don't know why I'm really anxious for this, but. It's a bloody walk. <laughs> It's I just not feel like you really have to give a speech or anything. I don't know, I just felt really weird. And here we have Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really happy because we've raised so far, I think it's 170 pounds. It was 160 pounds. Someone donated five pounds just last night. Oh. So 170 pounds so far. I will leave a link to my just given page down below because I believe it's open for a week or two weeks after the event. So by the time this goes up, it will still be on. So if you would like to donate, please do. The link will be down there and support me and Eric doing the Crohn's and Colitis walk. I got mention this time, last time it was just me. I'm doing <laughs> this walk, just me. Me and Eric are doing it. In Unfortunately, Daisy couldn't come because it's a bit too hot and it'll be really hot on the pavement in town for her little tiny paws bless her. So, so yes. she's staying at home, we're gonna take them for a walk later. Hi, uh, <laughs> after 10 so I'm going walk two walks today. Walk. <laughs> if you'd like to sponsor that walk. <laughs> We're anywhere near halfway. Yeah. Sweaty breasts. We've lost so many people because we went to get water and now we're by ourselves. And Why did we go get water? Because we accidentally picked up sparkling water instead of still water. I accidentally picked up. I don't like sparkling water. Oh wait, I can see a purple top. Wait, I can see people. We're going across this bridge here. Let's cross over the bridge. 
coming out the other side. Cool, we're all the way over there. We have literally lost everyone. <laughs> I think we're like the last people. Where? Definitely think we're like the last people. <laughs> but at least we tried. I'm not even sure where we are now. <laughs> Eric. What? I'm dying. Just catch a 10k egg and it's a really good one. <laughs> Eric's literally been playing my Pokemon the whole way around as well and I've just been like yeah, dying. That Pokemon, <laughs> no. We did it. We're gonna go in now and see everyone. Then get a medal. Get a medal. <laughs> A bit dead there. Well, that's us done. We've got our medals. We did the whole 10k. How do you feel, Eric? My feet are killing us. Your feet. I think <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm gonna get blisters on my feet. I'm really pleased. Last year we only did the 5k, and this year we upped it to the 10k since my colitis is um, mild rather than moderate now. And I'm really pleased that we did. And I think next year I might volunteer instead. I thought the whole event was held really well. There was some cool music. There was face painting going on. You got it was a bag on. All. I got a bag a on. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think the I'm really, really glad that they put the date on the um, lanyards for the medals this year because last year they didn't have a date, so that's really cool. Hi. <laughs> Just saying hi to some of the volunteers. Yeah. No, me, I feel really awkward when I'm vlogging, but actually, it's all right. My arms feeling a bit tired now. Oh, my neck's going this way. And now we are both pretty starving after that humongous walk, so we are going to go and find something to eat. I'm going to go stick my foot in a McFlurry. In a McFlurry? No, I don't. Th I think we should have cool. something healthy. <laughs> We've had a healthy day, so yeah. I think we should eat something healthy. No, I think we're like something unhealthy for doing such a healthy. Okay. <laughs> no, we need to be healthy. We'll see where we go. I'll vlog it. Cool. Hi everyone, it's Sunday. Eric and I are currently on our way to Asda because I really, really fancy one of those cooked chickens from the deli with some chips later. So we're gonna go and get that before the shops close. And then I think we're going for a walk to Plessy Woods just to enjoy the sunshine on a Sunday before Eric goes back to work for the week. So that should be really nice. I'm gonna take dogs to Plessy Woods because it's cool. Yeah, it's like shaded and there's some water there. We can't really take them out um, during the day anywhere else because it's too like direct sun and too hot for them. Um, we've seen a lot a of, puppy. I know, a puppy. we've just seen someone walking a Jack Russell puppy on the hot pavement and it's currently 25 degrees Celsius in the UK, which might not seem hot to other countries, but in the UK, we are not prepared for this weather at all and our animals are not prepared and acclimatized to this weather either. So the poor little puppy's feet are probably gonna be really red raw when they get in the house because it would have been burning them, which is a shame. So yeah, we're gonna take the dogs to Plessy Woods where it's all shaded, there's a river to cool off in and it won't be nowhere near as hot as other places, hopefully. How are your legs feeling after that 10 kilometer walk? I feel fine. I feel Shut really up. good. Honestly, I feel absolutely fine. Eric's been like whinging about sore legs and I'm totally fine. Walking down yeah, stairs. Yeah, the stairs. Killed. Go on, son. Zebra crossing. Well, you napped yesterday as well and I stayed awake all day and I was like, I, I am feeling good. <laughs> I napped and then I fell asleep at the same time as you yesterday. I know. I, I don't know why. I don't know why it made you so tired. Yes, because I could sleep. <laughs> I honestly, I could sleep for freaking ever. What? Hey, babies. 